As the movie opens, we see a 35-year-old man named Alex playing a video game with his roommate Josh. Alex plays video games most of the time because he is a video game tester. As they continue playing, their landlord Yuri comes in with two goons and evicts them because Josh was wasting their rent money on Filipino hookers for the last six months. As a result of that, Alex is forced to find a new place to live. At first, he tries to stay with his marijuana dealer Dante, but later realizes that is not safe because Dante is adopting a wild lion to live in the house. Alex then decides to spend one night with his co-worker Jeff, who still lives with his parents. However, he couldn't complete the entire night there, because after an embarrassing encounter with Jeff's mom, in which he is caught masturbating in the bathroom, he sleeps at the office. The next day morning, an attractive girl Samantha, who has been sent by the company's corporate office to oversee the production of a new video game, reaches the office and sees Alex sleeping on his chair. She doesn't know where her office is, hence decides to ask Alex. They both introduce each other, and after a small conversation, Alex shows her the office and she leaves. Samantha then meets Mr. Cheezel, the owner of the company, who then introduces her to the game designer JP. JP acts a little weird sometimes because sometimes he talks like a human and suddenly changes to a robotic voice. After meeting, JP brags about the things he owns and how genius he is. However, Samantha doesn't find any of that interesting but acts like she is listening until they reach the lunchroom. There in the lunchroom, a challenge is going on between Alex and one of his colleagues to find out who is better at a particular game. In the game, Alex wins by scoring more points, while Samantha and others stand there getting entertained. Samantha congratulates Alex for his victory, which makes JP jealous and makes an insulting comment about Alex's age. In return, Alex also says something funny about the clothes he is wearing. After the office house, Alex has no place to go. Therefore, he decides to move in with his grandmother Lily and her two eccentric friends, B and Grace. When the grandmother knows he got plenty of free time available, she gives him some work to do, such as cleaning and fixing up things around the house. As as soon as he completes one work, the next comes right away. Because of that, he will be tired at the office and sleeps during the meeting. When Jeff asks why he is so tired, Alex says that he is living with three hot babes. Alex's friends believe the lie and actually think the reason he is so tired at work is that he is living with three women who constantly wear him out in the bedroom. After the meeting, JP approaches Samantha and offers her a cobra necklace in an effort to get close to her, but she smartly denies the offer by saying she got work to do and leaves the room. Later that night, Alex is testing a game called Demonic. Alex created this game by himself. Grandmother Lily finds the game very interesting and decides to give it a try. As she continues playing, she gets better and better at it and doesn't give the joystick back. Understanding the fact he lost the TV for the night, Alex goes to Dante to buy some weed. There he meets an African tribal man whom they call Doctor. After buying weed and having a couple of joints at Dante's place, he returns home. At home, Alex finds some fresh meat inside the fridge and he is very hungry too. He then places everything inside the oven and by the time it gets cooked, Alex decides to have one final drag for the day. After that, he runs to the kitchen, takes out the plate from the oven without any gloves, and ends up burning both hands, which is a very big loss for a game tester. The following day, his colleagues ask him about his hand and he again lies to them that he was tied to the bed by his fake three roommates while having sex. As he speaks to them, Samantha comes and inquires about the hand. Before he says anything, his friends tell her everything Alex just told them. Samantha doesn't think that is smart and scolds Alex for not caring about his hand, considering he works with his hands. Back at home, Alex takes off his bandage and decides to finish the levels assigned to him. However, his roommates are watching a show called Antique Roadshow, where people bring old things and know the current price of it. Alex waits for them to leave, but they watch the shoes till early morning, and Alex couldn't do his job. Back at the office, Alex takes a nap, and the team which challenges them always comes with a new challenge. This time, it is a dancing game, and Jeff takes up the challenge. They play, and the opposite team loses to Jeff terribly. Meanwhile, Kane finds out a problem with the game they are testing and informs that to JP. The problem is dwarfs on level 4 of the game look similar to the elves on level 6 and he thinks people would confuse them both. But JP claims that because it is already too late for the game's release, they cannot change that at this time. However, Kane has an idea, which is they just have to change the colors. JP realizes that it is a good idea, but sends him out saying he will do the decisions. Later, JP goes to Samantha and tells her that he has found an issue with the game and gives her the idea idea of changing the color. Samantha also finds it a great idea and congratulates JP for coming up with that. Later that day, Alex's grandmother and her friends visit him in the office. As they enter, they bump into Samantha and she takes them to the office he is in. When they reach there, they couldn't see Alex and Jeff tells them he is gone somewhere outside. But the truth is he is sleeping under his table. They start uncovering every lie Alex ever told his friends about his roommates. Samantha gets it but the three friends still doesn't get it. Before it goes too far, Alex jumps in and takes 
them outside. Later that night, he arranges some tickets for the show Antique Roadshow and gives them to his roommates. The plan is to send them early to sleep and get the TV free so that he can finish some levels. With Alex finishing his levels, the entire game testing gets completed and they submit the report the following day. Mr. Cheezel is happy about the work and as a complimentary asks Samantha to take the boys out for dinner and she agrees. As per Mr. Cheezel's suggestion, the team goes to a restaurant for dinner. But the bad news is, that restaurant is vegan and also does not serve alcohol. Frustrated by that, the team get into an argument with the server. They get out of there and have their dinner at a nearby burger shop. As they were having fun, Jeff feels like using the bathroom and Alex takes them all to his house. When they reach there, his grandma and two others are watching a Spanish show and laughing very hard. At first, Alex doesn't understand what is actually happening with them. But later, his grandmother tells him that they found some tea leaves in his room and made tea of it, which they drank later. The tea leaf grandma is talking about is actually the weed Alex kept in his room. After knowing this, Samantha feels like having a joint. So Alex then calls Dante and throws a wild party at his house. During the party, the group prank calls JP and leaves him a voicemail that makes fun of him for wanting to be a robot. A few other things also happen there such as Jeff having sex with one of Alex's roommates Grace and Barry sucks a boob for 13 hours. The next day morning, Alex wakes up in the kitchen and finds his grandma showing his childhood photos to Samantha. After that, he takes Samantha to her apartment and before leaving they both kiss. Meanwhile, JP is working at his studio and suddenly sees a voicemail Alex and his friends sent the previous night. He gets upset by that and goes to see Alex in the lunchroom. But Jeff there insults him again with the robotic voice and informs him Alex is with Samantha. Hearing that, JP gets angrier and leaves the room like a robot. Later that night, JP visits Alex at his house and cries to him complaining about how they treat him. Alex tries to calm him saying he is a genius and everybody in the office respects him. JP feels happy hearing that. As they were speaking, JP notices the game Demonic on the TV. He inquires about it and Alex tells him that he designed and created the game. With a very bad intention, JP asks Alex to allow him to do the necessary checking required for the game. Feeling bad for him, Alex agrees to let him borrow his only copy of Demonic and test it out for a few days. JP then tries to pass off the game as his own at work in retaliation for Alex making his life miserable and because he is used to stealing other people's ideas. When Alex comes to know about it, he claims it's his game. Mr. Cheezel asks whether he has any other copy of the game, but he doesn't have it and hence Mr. Cheezel does not accept his claim. Frustrated and sad, he goes to Dante and smokes so much weed. Meanwhile, Samantha goes to his house and asks Alex's grandmother about the game and she confirms that he created Demonic. Samantha then takes her to Mr. Cheezel and informs him about it. After hearing the story, Mr. Cheezel announces a challenge between JP and his grandmother. JP agrees to do it thinking that she is just an old woman. Meanwhile, Jeff calls Dante and tells him JP has kidnapped Alex's grandmother, just to make him come early. Alex, Dante, and a kung fu monkey, with the monkey driving the car, they reach the office and see the challenge about to take place. The game starts and because grandmother has mastered the game already, she plays JP and wins to prove it belongs to Alex. Mr. Cheezel now believes Alex and apologizes for not trusting him before. And JP, the robotic voice man, gets fired from the company. A few days later, the team joins together at Dante's place to celebrate Alex's success. Dante introduces to them a new type of weed and a gift for Alex. Before they light the weed, an elephant trumpets from upstairs, which is actually the gift Dante brought for Alex. The movie ends with everyone running. Thank you for watching. It may be easy for you to like and subscribe, but it means the world to us. Please subscribe for more movie recaps.